Uh, I'm Chris Wisniewski, and I'm speaking for Hamilton Company today. Uh, this is a collaboration that I worked on with Hamilton, Gilead, and Waters. An automated future. Automated liquid handling is the future of laboratory work. As a company, we're heavily invested in its success. This presentation will focus on how Hamilton automation was applied to the latest evolution of the N-glycan system by Waters. A little bit about myself briefly. I'm a senior research associate too at Gilead Sciences with uh, another 10 years of experience in the biologics field. Uh, I have a BS from the University of Arizona in biology and chemistry. I've got seven years experience dealing with liquid handling. Uh, I've done method development with the Hamilton Star, uh, Perkin Elmer's Janus, and the TCAN Freedom Evos. Uh, I've developed multiple assays, performed manually, and then uh, put onto automated systems. So quite a bit of planning that went into a system that uh, we eventually put onto automation. So with the n glycan de uh, development, previously we used Prozyme's Glycoprep Instant AB kit. Uh, a couple years ago, we moved from that onto the Waters Glycoworks Rapifloor MS n glycan kit. Uh, streamlined, easy to follow protocol, uh, it comes in 24, 96, and now an automation kit. Uh, it has excellent FLR and MS sensitivity, and it's a UPL, uh, UPLC based with inline integration with uh, an MS. So, early in development, you can see um, that's the whole kit right there initially. Uh, when we, we were one of the first companies to purchase the kit, and we kind of had to jerry rig quite a few of it. Uh, it was a fantastic kit, but it was uh, to use in the lab initially it was a, a bit of a challenge. Uh, there are quite a few early issues uh, that weren't necessarily with the kit, but with ourselves in lab. Uh, it's fairly complicated and in depth. Uh, the time required to form the assay is not linear with the amount of samples run. So if you're running a couple samples, uh, it does follow the 30 minute time length that, it ta that is advertised, but if you're running 20 or 30 samples, it can take all day for a couple of analysts. Um, <clears throat> there are some complications with the heat blocks and the positive pressure manifold that need to purchase with it. Uh, just quite a bit that when you're starting a new assay that's as complicated as this, you're not quite prepared for when, when you first get it. Uh, we worked through those steps fantastically with water's help. Uh, one of the first steps, we were actually using the Prozyme kit because they had a heat block that was formed for the samples. Uh, and we ended up buying a thermocycler to remedy that system uh, complication. So you can kind of see down there, I apologize, it should be a little bigger, but uh, there's quite a few steps that go with, along with this kit. And on top of that, there are small and large um, s amounts of sample being used. So it really, uh, it really is pretty flexible. So further in the development, uh, we're finding out the amounts of solutions and the amounts of buffers required greatly slow down the testing speed. Uh, that applies both to the number of buffers and sample prep uh, solutions we need, but also some of the smaller amounts, like the P and JSF. That is a very, very small amount of liquid, and uh, using that uh, went through pretty quick. We decided it was a perfect candidate for uh, liquid automation. And so we brought in the Hamilton Starlet. As you can see, that's the system we brought down there. And that's the deck layout that we have for it. Uh, we bought that only with the idea of running the glycans on it. And so it's pretty cramped on there. But it does a fantastic job of running the assay. The Hamilton Starlet that we purchased is configured with uh, two by 96 50 microliter tips, two by 96 30 micro, or 300 microliter tips, and one by 96 1,000 microliter tips. It's got a va uh, vacuum manifold for the solid phase extraction, two heat blocks because there are two incubation steps. That was a big uh, kind of delay for us while we're working in lab. We're waiting for one heat block to go to 90 degrees and another at 50. Uh, we had five buffer troughs, space for 96 samples, and eight independent 1,000 microliter pipetting channels. We also worked uh, on this 
collaboration with Hamilton, we worked with Dan Hammond and Lara Fernow working on the scripting for it. So that was a pretty complicated task, and they did a fantastic job. On top of that, I also went to their scripting courses in Reno. They offer those on site as well, and those are very in depth, and uh, f training for that is fantastic. So for the Hamilton Starlet, it was uh, immediate time savings. Uh, multiple sample or multiple hours are reduced to just 55 minutes, regardless of how many samples you had. Of course, that's initially for 24 samples. Uh, scaling that up to 96 samples, I found with working with the Starlet, you kind of have to be there and make sure that you don't run out of tips and those things. And there's so many small buffers that uh, it's good to keep an eye on it. And that takes a few hours, but running 96 samples or even anything above 24 will take all day. Uh, much more time to, to do manually. Uh, the Starlet removes multiple inefficiencies, the heat block prep. Uh, you don't have to keep track of multiple buffers and samples on the bench. Earlier in the picture, you can see that there are just, uh, I think there are 12 buffers that are used throughout the entire process. So it's, it's quite a bit to keep track of on a lab bench, uh, even if you've got a lot of space. Another big thing is that it removes, uh, removes repetitive manual pipetting while speeding up repetitious steps built into the assay. So for the solid phase extraction, there's quite a few steps that go into uh, just rinsing the solid phase extraction plate and getting your samples uh, released from that plate. This allows you to do that yourself or without, uh, without making these repetitious steps yourself. So some of the automation development issues we had, uh, some of the intrinsic things that will be issues with automation is that you will likely use more material than if you were to run it manually. Uh, the PNJ so included the kit uh, is very very low volume. I think with the kit you get uh, 250 or 25 microliters of sample for 24 samples, so it's quite a bit. Um, humans can obviously use less material because you can kind of tip the uh, pipette and everything and. <clears throat> with automation development, you need to have a number of uh, things set up as far as uh, liquid detection and those sorts of things. And there's also a loss of MS resolution. Uh, end of assay buffers like the elution and DMF buffers leach the plastics from the troughs, and that um, we lost all resolution with our mass spec. <clears throat> we resolved that issue by moving into glass tubes, and after that was done, I know it's another slower step. We went from using it, a large trough to individual um, glass tubes. So it's one to one to one instead of eight tips. But that is actually something that Waters has worked out for their automation kit. In that Waters automation kit, <coughs> it's specifically designed for automated use now. Uh, consumables are designed for it. Uh, they come in different. Uh, different volumes, and they've actually combined different steps so there's not multiple, ti multiple times as going through all your samples. Uh, there's a detailed workstation requirements and layouts for easy method duplication. Includes base starter scripts and simple automation deployment. So we spent two years developing uh, everything for the automated systems, and now Waters actually includes it. So if you buy the kit, you can add that script, and you're ready to go right out of the box. Uh, the partnership with Hamilton for script customization, uh, their experts are fantastic and they're able to work on those scripts for you very quickly. <coughs> so you can see the automation versus our manual results and they lie on top of each other perfectly. Uh, it was very impressive to, you know, directly out of the box, first run, our samples were absolutely perfect. Um, I should say right out of the box. The, uh, some of the things we had to do with our development were not quite perfect out of the box, but working with Waters and Hamilton, we were able to get that pretty quickly. So I don't know if you can see that there, but uh, our percent CV is pretty much, I believe our, our highest number is 5.6 on there, but we have that's for the lower samples. So we get some pretty good method duplication, result duplication. So in conclusion, the Waters Repifloor and Glycans kit was not initially developed for automation, but partnering with Hamilton and Waters now builds a kit with automation in mind. 
The Hamilton team has scripted an easy to use uh, method for seamless transition from the lab bench to an automation deck. And so my acknowledgements to the Gilead, Waters, and Hamilton team. Everyone did a fantastic job and just a huge help the entire time. And uh, seven months ago, we really put this together. And uh, it's really nice to have everything kind of come together. And it's really easy to use now. So it's a pretty impressive kit and system altogether.